Good evening, people watching Miss 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. We're saved by grace, through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace which is a gift. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him, believe in him, will not perish but have eternal life. I always refer by the uh, with the jailer in the book of Acts, uh, what must we do to be saved? And uh, Paul said, believe, which is what you need. You come... How do you come to that? You come to the end of yourself. Admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. There's only one, and that's Jesus Christ. Believe in what he did for you at the cross. And call out to him. Put your faith and trust in him. Yet at that point, you're justified by the blood of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. And the Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you will not lose your salvation. People who, I mentioned this this morning, people who always want to argue against one saved, always saved. The one thing that they forget about, the one person that they forget about is the Holy Spirit. Because when the Holy Spirit indwells in you, the Holy Spirit changes you. The Holy Spirit is powerful. He will change you. And according to Ephesians 4.30, he will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you will never lose your salvation. And which also means you don't want to sin. People need to read the book of Romans. And I think it's the seventh chapter where Paul struggled with this. It is either the seventh chapter or the ninth chapter, I think, where Paul struggled with this. He said, I do what I don't want to do and I don't want to do what I do paraphrasing you get the gist of it we live in a sinful nature body which means we have sins of omission and sins of commission but when the holy spirit is in you and when you've put your trust in christ jesus and the holy spirit indwells in you he will tell you and let you know what you've done and i know he will because he does it to me and he will do it to you. Period. So when people say, oh, I'm saved and I'm, I'm saved by grace. I can go out and do whatever I want. If a person says that, they're not saved. Because that is not what grace is. Grace is something we didn't earn and grace is something we don't deserve. And for a person to sit there and say, oh, I can do whatever I want. Then they're not saved. Because there's freedom in Christ. And that freedom's not cheap. And we know that. Those of us who are saved and sealed, we know that. We want to please God. Because our faith and trust relies in Him. We're justified by the blood of Jesus. And that blood. was not cheap. Developing now chaos in the European Union border, fears of weaponized migrants, growing concerns of military escalation. This is bad and it's getting worse. Russia is carrying out snap military drills in Belarus. Somebody, I said Belarus and someone Nicely corrected me. I, I butcher up names and places all the time. So, sorry. But it's Belarus, just a few miles from the Polish border today. As fears grow that Vladimir Putin is preparing for an invasion in Eastern Europe. According to the Daily Mail, Russia's defense ministry said the unannounced drill involved paratroopers from both countries dropping um, dropping at the uh, Koazi range just 20 miles 
from where thousands of migrants are gathered at the Polish border, um, where they practice capturing bridges as well as hunting down and destroying enemy patrols. Belarus said the drill was in response to uh, the buildup of military activity at the Polish border where 15,000 troops have been stationed to hold back the migrants while Russia said it was to test the combat readiness of these troops. At the same time, Polish Defense Minister, uh, I'm not going to pronounce his name, revealed that British military engineers have been deployed to help strengthen the border defenses amid warnings from all sides that the crisis risk spilling over into an all-out armed conflict. The MOD confirmed a small team has been sent to provide engineering support. Uh, the Wall Street Journal reported that for, thousands, for, uh, for years, thousands of U.S. and NATO troops have stood guard in Poland, a presence designed to deter an invasion by Russian troops and tanks. This week, the, Russian, uh, the Western Alliance faced a less conventional challenge. At least 2,000 people from the Middle East trying to cross into Poland from Russia's closest ally, Belarus. European uh, officials accuse Belarus of abetting human traffickers, bringing migrants into their country, and then funneling the new arrivals toward the border in an effort to provoke a crisis. Tensions are rising. Poland has deployed more soldiers along the frontier to keep the world be crossers out, to keep the would-be crossers out. Russia says it views the troop movements as a threat and has responded by sending bombers to patrol over Belarus. Larger groups of people are gathered and transported to the border area where they are, where they, uh, are then forced to cross the border illegally. This increases the possibility of provocations and serious incidents which could spill over into the military sphere. They condemn the uh, deliberate escalation of the Belarusian regime ongoing hybrid attack while stressing their country's bilateral support for Poland. The ministries also called on the European Union to increase its practical support to improve security at its external borders. Many hundreds of migrants, including many children, are staying in the open and near freezing temperatures along Belarus' western border with the European Union. Some have tents, others have only the nearby woods to, for shelter. Folks, this is real bad. This is bad. And it reminds me of what could happen here. And it's just a matter of time before all hell breaks loose at any moment with everything that's going on. Um, I'm going to link this article in the description box. Um, um, I'm going to ask you for prayer over both of my sons. Their official wrestling has started. Wrestling practice has started um, today. And it goes on. And it's going to get hard for them, and especially Zachariah. So they are talking about making him varsity. And that's a worry on me. So I'd appreciate your prayers for them, Cody and Zach. And um, that's about it. I will be back with the next video. Uh, folks, this is, this is getting real bad. Maybe we can be raptured before their first scrimmage. So that would be nice. No. But anyway, just um, I'll be back with the next video. Thank you.